I'm about to tell you a story about a special Morris Major Mark II, owned by Queensland Vintage Vehicle Association members Barry and Susie Shipway of Brisbane. Before we get into the technical bits about the car, I would like to introduce you to Barry and Susie Shipway's 1960 Morris Major Mark II. Barry and Susie purchased this car back in 2011, after joining the Queensland Vintage Vehicle Association. They wanted something different, small to medium size and well priced. The vehicle was in Yapoon, which worked out well for Barry as his sister lives there. Barry's sister had a mechanic friend who checked out the car for them and he was impressed with what, with what he saw. Barry did some wheeling and dealing on the phone with the owner Bobbin. They agreed on a sale price and arranged payment for it via Barry's sister. So the life with Merrill, the Morris Major began for the shipways. Barry and Susie travelled to Yapoon in December 2011. They registered the car in January 2012 and drove the car back to Brisbane, a trip of about 670 kilometres. Barry drove the Morris and Susie followed him in a modern vehicle. They left Yapoon on the 6th of January for the trip home. With only the oil pressure gauge and a speedo that did not work correctly, the Morris went well. First overnight stop was at Woodgate. Worn out and tired, Barry did not realise that driving an old vehicle takes it out of you, especially in summer with no air conditioning. Susie driving the modern said Barry was speeding in many places. He denied that but thought he was getting along at a good rate. They left Woodgate mid-morning for the run into Brisbane about 350 k's further on. The Morris never missed a beat. The first club outing was fish and chip night in Manly in January 2012. Driving home, Susie asked Barry if the headlights were on. Barry indicated that they were and they were actually on high beam. They are just that old and poor. Barry and Susie have attended many events since taking ownership and they have no concerns about the car breaking down. Since having the Morris, it has been noted that overall the car is in fairly good condition with no major body defects other than the paint has some chips in a few places. Barry has kept the car in the condition he purchased it. Keeping the car on full register has allowed them to be able to use the car when they want to. They attend many club events and have travelled many miles in it since taking ownership. With the help from Clint Froder in overhauling the front suspension, made the car handle a lot better and as it should. Barry fitted a new exhaust system and a few other minor repairs that have been done in keeping the car roadworthy. The original clutch was replaced in 2015 with the help from club member John Knight. This car gets a lot of appreciation from the public as the normal comments are, my dad had one of those, or well, the neighbour had one. So I ask, when was the last time you saw one of these cars at a car show? Or anywhere else? Very few and far between. There were thousands made and like a lot of other British cars that have disappeared in Australia due to them not keeping up with the new import styles and costs from other manufacturers, especially from Japan. I will now tell you a little bit about the Morris Major Mark II. In 1960, Morris produced the new Morris Major Mark II in Australia for Australians. The Mark I had been a favourite car with the Australians, however a newer version was needed with upsized engine and design. These cars were built from 98% Australian content by BMC Australia. These cars were fitted with a Series B BMC 1498 four-cylinder engine. It has an overhead valve motor developing 50 horsepower. It is fitted to a four-speed manual transmission, rear-wheel drive with four-wheel drum locky hydraulic brakes. Inside is a bench front seat with the gauge panel in front of the driver. Runs on 12 volt Lucas system, electric wipers. It is a very basic car compared to today's vehicles. The car is lightweight at around 2,236 pounds or just over 1,000 kilos. It has a wheelbase of 92 inches and an overall length of 161 inches. 
Many of these cars were raced due to the power to weight ratio and having a good suspension that could be easily adjusted. Top speed was 79 miles per hour and acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 22 seconds. Not bad for that size of car. The last Morris Majors were built in February 1964, being replaced by the Morris 1100. BMC became British Leyland Motors and they continued manufacturing cars until the factory closed down in Australia in 1975.